All right, guys, uh, here we are in Cincinnati for another uh, 1986 Mets game in 1962. If you're new to this project, what we've done is uh, we're playing with OTP, as you can see here. We've taken the uh, 86 Mets, stuck them into 1962. We're still going to use real-life uh, transactions, but, of course, not real-life lineups since the matchups are different and all that stuff. So uh, the Mets are the way that um, uh, they were at this point in time in the season in 1986. We're uh, part of the way through April. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. We are at Crosley Field, and we're up against Joey J. It will be Lenny Dykstra to lead this off, and we get this uh, little panorama shot, first of all. A little bit of a roller coaster ride, and on we go. Of course, we're not using that angle. We like this camera angle, and uh, there's a ball low to uh, Lenny. Want to know the count. A ground ball over to second base, and that is fielded by Blassengam. Blassengam, who throws the first for the out, one away. Uh, the Reds, of course, uh, National League champions in 1961, after which they got swept in the series by the Yankees. They got swept, right? They didn't win a game that series. Um, so far this season, they're down around seven. There was a strike to Backman. Remember, the National League with 10 teams in 1962. Fly ball over to left field, and it's going to be Keel who grabs it for the out, two away. Ten teams in the NL, and you have to win first place, so there's no divisions. Hernandez up there takes a strike. And that's a changeup outside, one and one. Swing and a miss, looked kind of bad on that one, one and two now. And that's ball two inside. Low, and it's a full count, so Keith has worked it full. And there's a ground ball to first base. That'll be played easily there by uh, Coleman. The uh, first baseman goes to the bag for the out. And uh, we go to the bottom of the first inning. It'll be Vada Pinson here to lead it off against Ron Darling. Darling 1-0 this season, 1.00 ERA, and he throws the ball low, 1-0. There's another ball low and inside, 2-0. Ground ball second, Backman on to first, one away. Here's Leo Cardenas, and he fouls this over to the left side, 0-1. Ground ball to first, Hernandez has that on to the bag, two away. Catching for us, if you haven't noticed yet, is Barry Lyons, because Gary Carter is... Uh, a little bit fatigued, and uh, that's one of the things that we like uh, here about, uh, sorry about that, that's one of the things that we like here about OOTP, the fatigue system is quite good. Frank Robinson up next, there's a name you should know. He has uh, three home runs so far this season as he takes a strike, and it's a ground ball over to short. Santana with a good play on that one, throws to first in time for the out, and we go to the top of the second, no score. Daryl Strawberry leads this off, hitting 286, there's a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Strawberry, two home runs so far, including one game-winning home run that was quite dramatic. Low for a ball, 1-1. One one. That was a little, uh, was that a curveball change? That was a change that kind of floated in there, fouled away, 1-2. and two. That's low, 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and that fastball got by him, so... Strawberry hit a diet of junk, 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 and then the next fastball came in there, and uh, it got him way off balance, one away, and here is Ray Knight. Outside for a ball, 1-0. And, oh. and that's low, 2-0 and oh on Knight. Low again, 3-0, and, oh, and Ray will take this one. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. And there's ball four, so Knight doesn't even think about swinging the bat. Goes down to first base, and here now is George Foster. Foster hitting 190. Takes the ball inside, 1-0. We are kind of avoiding starting Foster too much. We're waiting for Mookie Wilson to come back. There's a ball outside, 2-0. And that misses again, 3-0 the count. And there's the automatic strike fastball down the middle, 3-1. And, and that's another called strike, another fastball. He's thrown Foster nothing but fastballs, and there's a ball outside. Ball four looked like another fastball, and it was. So six straight fastballs, and uh, I should say seven straight fastballs, and uh, it looks like Joey Jay's a little bit all over the place. Two walks so far in this game. Uh, Jay, so far this season, take a look, has uh, seven walks against 13 strikeouts, so he is a little bit wild. Here comes Santana. Ground ball to short, and that'll be fielded easily by Cardenas, and uh, he flips that one over to, uh, who is it, to Blazengame for the out, and we go to the bottom of the second inning. Still no score. Here's Gordy Coleman. Takes a fastball in there for a strike. Coleman so far hitting 213. It's a ground ball to Backman, and that gets through him for a base hit. Poorly played there by Backman. Looked like he was in the right place. 
You look at the play-by-play, -play, Backman lunged for that one and couldn't flag it down. And so uh, he made an attempt at it and didn't quite get there. Uh, the uh, developers probably need to change that animation. Marty Keogh now comes up, and uh, we have uh, infield in for uh, double play depth, and that is hit deep to center. And uh, Dykstra has to run back to grab that one, throws this in, and uh, Marty has a double and uh, ends up going to third on that throw. That was not a great throw as it missed the cutoff, man. And uh, so uh, that puts Marty Keogh on uh, third base. It's a 1-0 uh, lead for the Reds. And here's Don Blazen Blazen game, And he takes the ball outside. 1-0. Oh. Let's hit foul down the right field line. That was a ground ball to Santana. And he throws the first for the out. The run scores. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Reds. One out here, bottom of the second. Nobody on. Eddie Casco comes up. Another ground ball to Santana. Who throws to first. And uh, that'll be two out. So that uh, failure by Backman to get that ground ball uh, really ends up meaning a lot here. Two runs score in this inning, and uh, there's a swing and a miss and a ball upstairs to Johnny Edwards, number eight hitter for the Reds. Another swing and a miss, one and two. Strike three. And he was uh, really fooled on that one. Down he goes. It's the first uh, strikeout there for uh, Darling, and we go to the top of the third inning. Two nothing Cincinnati. Here is Barry Lyons, his first at bat this season. And he hits it deep to left field. Go, baby, go. And that is out of here over the scoreboard, 404 feet away. And uh, it's a 2-1 ball game now. Barry Lyons hits his first home run this season. I think we're going to like hitting here in Crosley Field. 2-1 to one the score. So uh, big, big home run for Barry. And uh, let's uh, see who we have up next. It's going to be Ron Darling. There's a strike inside, 0-1. Oh, and, and that fastball is low, 1-1. One swing and a miss strike and there's three. another swing and a miss so there goes Ron for the first out and here comes Lenny Dykstra again 0 for 1 today hitting 350 and there's a strike Dykstra's got about 7 or 8 stolen bases hasn't been caught yet swing and a miss it's 0 and 2 let's head down the left field line but foul just foul and that misses inside 1 and 2 and that's low, two and two. That's up the middle, through, no. Bla Blazing Game grabbed that one. What a catch, what a good play. Let's go take a quick look here at the um, uh, replay on that. Well done, you can't really see him make the catch though. He kind of grabbed that with his chest. But it's all right, here comes Wally Backman with two men out. Takes a strike, 0 oh and one. That's low. One and one. Barely fouled away. One and two. Ground ball to the left side. That's going to be fielded by, uh, what's, who is this? Keo Casco, I'm sorry. Throws the first for the out. And uh, we go to the bottom of the third inning. Still 2-1 uh, two -one, two -one now Reds. And here's Joey J, the pitcher. There's a uh, ball outside from uh, Darling. And a strike. Good fastball in there. One and one. Low, two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two. And that's just low, three and two, full count. And that one misses inside, and so Darling has given up his first walk, and he gives it up to the pitcher, and that's never a good sign. Here's uh, Pinson again. And he takes a strike, 0 oh and 1. And that misses in the inside corner. It's 1 and 1 now in Vlada. He's kind of cold, 2 and 1. Hitting only 0.93 in the early season. That's fouled away, 2-2. Two and two. Up the middle and through for a base hit. So uh, Darling gives up the walk and then gives up the hit. Now there's runners on at first and second with nobody out. Bottom of the third, Cincinnati's uh, threatening again. Here's Leo Cardenas, who's hitting uh, 236. And he bunts one over to the side. We weren't looking for that. It's a good play by uh, uh, Hernandez uh, getting on top of that one, throwing over to Backman, covering her first, and that will bring up Frank Robinson, and I think we're going to walk him. I think that's what we're going to do here. And so we go ahead and walk w Robinson with that uh, open base, and uh, I think what we're going to do is go into double play depth. I think that's what we want to do here. We don't care so much about the run because it's so early. Coleman up there uh, fouls one away. 0 oh, and 1, hitting 229. There's a ball inside, 1 and 1. And misses inside, 2 and 1. And that's going to be a bloop single. That's into the right field. Strawberry can't quite get there in time. And uh, the throw home is uh, way too late. 
Everybody moves up a base, and here's Marty Keogh, and we'll uh, try one more time for the double play. I think we'll keep the outfield sort of the way that it is. There's a slider missing outside. And it's grounded foul outside of first. One and one. Foul ball again. One and two. In the dirt. Two and two. And it's low. It's a full count. And it's low again. So Darling has now walked in the run. And he's really in trouble here. 4-1 Cincinnati with the lead. Ron Darling has not pitched very well at all today. Three walks so far. And there's a, a strike to Blazing game. And that's up the middle for a base hit. That's going to be it for Darling. Gives up another single, and uh, we have the bases loaded still. It's a 5-1 to one lead, and this game's starting to get out of hand. And so who do we go to? Probably the question is, do we go to Leach? Do we go to Rick? I think we probably go to Aguilera here in this case. We'll have him go ahead and hit in the number 9 spot, and we'll have him pitch. There we go. So in comes Rick Aguilera. Rick has pitched uh, one and a third innings, uh, didn't give up anything, and his first pitch is in the dirt, and uh, that's uh, pounced on by uh, Lions for, uh, to prevent a run from scoring. There's 1-0 count, and this is fouled away out of play. 1-1. One one. That's inside, 2-1. and one. That's hit deep to center. Uh, Dykstra is there, though, for the out, and... Um, Somehow throws a runner out on uh, at uh, third base. Try to figure that one out. So what exactly was happening? Did the runner think that uh, that ball was going to be uh, was going to drop in or what? Let's go take a look at this again. It's a routine play. I mean, he was safe if you look at the replay, but uh, he was. Uh, it was said that he was kind of caught way off the bag. Either way, a good play by uh, Dykstra to throw him out, and uh, we go to the top of the fourth inning, and uh, it's getting dark here. Here's uh, Hernandez. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Oh and, and that's inside, 1-1. One one. It's a strike, 1-2. and two. It's hit over to right field. That's going to bounce in there for a base hit, so Keith Hernandez finds a way to get on board. Only the second hit for the Mets so far, and here comes Strawberry. It's time to hit and run. A swing and a miss, and uh, Hernandez is out by a mile. So one away. Strawberry's still up there, trying to force it maybe a little bit too much. It's 0-2 as he fouls that off. That's blasted to center. That's going to hit the wall at least. N yes, it does. Strawberry with the easy, easy double as uh, Vlada Pinson couldn't quite get to that one. That caromed off the wall. So Strawberry now the runner at second base, and here comes Ray Knight. There's a strike tonight, 0-1. It's another strike changeup, 0-2. A little ground ball over to short. That's not going to do anything. Cardenas throws to first for the out, two away. Here's uh, George Foster. Takes a strike. George, we could really use you here. There's the ball, 1-1. One one. That's low, 2-1. There's ball three, 3-1 three the count. And that's ball four, so uh, Jay's uh, control problems continue, and uh, we you'd hope that we would uh, be able to take advantage of that. Here is uh, Santana. And that's fouled away, 0-1. Oh, Santana hitting 216, takes the ball low. There's a strike of the knees, it's 1-2. and two. That's fouled away again, still 1-2. and two. Pull that one foul. One and two. That's in the dirt. Two and two now. Strike three. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And down goes Santana. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still 5-1 Cincinnati. Here comes Johnny Edwards. Hits a ground ball over to Backman, who throws to first. One away. Joey J comes up now. And takes a strike. Slider of the knees. This is going to be popped up. Who wants it? Santana's got that for the out two away. And uh, here is Vatif. Vada Pinson takes the ball low. Ground ball over to Backman, routine. Throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the fifth inning. It was Barry Lyons hit another one out, Barry. Takes a strike, 0-1. And, and there's a ball, 1-1. One one. He's way behind that uh, curveball, 1-2. And he didn't know what to do with the changeup, and down he goes looking. One out. Here comes uh, Aguilera. He's going to hit for himself. Ground ball over to short, and Cardenas has that on to first. Two away. 
Lenny Dykstra up now. Over two today. Takes a uh, strike. 0 and 1. And it's low and away for a ball. Let's hit over to le to right field. Sorry, that's deep and carrying, and uh, that baby is gone. Just clearing the wall. Robinson had a chance of getting that one, and that one just uh, went over 382 feet, and it's a five to two ball game. So Lenny Dykstra, Lenny Dykstra gets the big roll and uh, ends up uh, hitting the home run. Let's take another look at this. See how close this was, just barely leaving, and uh, Robinson was about as close as you could be without getting to it. And um, around the bases uh, went Dykstra, uh, about as happy as you could be. And it's now a 5-2 uh, lead for the Reds. Up comes uh, Wally Backman. Starting to rain a little bit now. There's a low slider, 1-0. Ground ball to the left side, and it's a good, good play by Cardenas, but uh, he's a little off balance when he makes his throw. Backman is able to beat it out for the base hit. And up comes Keith Hernandez now, two away. Top of the fifth inning, 5-2. 2-0 oh now on Keith. And that's low, 3-0. And, oh. and that's over for a strike, 3-1. and one. Strike two, that one, that curve ball just curved in. That was a big curve. That's outside for ball four, and Jay now has walked four. Up comes Strawberry. Daryl Kataya with the swing of the bat. Let's see what happens. That's low, 1-0. Oh. There's a strike, 1-1. One one. That's away, 2-1 the count. It's up and in. It's a 3-0 oh count on Daryl. And he has this one deep to center. Go, baby, go. Go, go, go. And that is off the wall, I think. One scores, two scores, around comes Strawberry to third, and he comes in with a triple easily, and that makes this a five to four ball game. That was almost out of here. So uh, five to four, Strawberry with the big triple, and uh, this game has turned around quite a bit. Up comes uh, Ray Nye, top of the fifth. Knight hits one deep to left, and that is carrying, and that baby is gone. It's a six to five ball game, and we have knocked Jay out of the box. I don't see how he can continue after this one. There was no doubt about that one. That was like that home run the Lions hit, and uh, the Mets have exploded here for five runs in the top of the fifth inning, and have taken the lead six to five just like that. Um, and just as I uh, predicted, in comes a new pitcher. Howie Nunn comes in for the Reds up to face Foster. It's a sinker low to George, one and zero. Oh. There's another ball outside, 2-0. Outside again, 3-0. Taken all the way. There's a strike, 3-1 the count. And that was uh, ball four that he swung on and hit over to right. Robinson's got that for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth, but it's now 6-5 to five Mets. Leo Cardenas up against uh, Rick Aguilera. There's a, a ground ball over to short. Good uh, play by Santana, but his throw to first is not quite in time, and uh, there's a runner on already. We go once again to double play depth. That'll bring up Robinson, who is the danger man. And uh, the runner not going at time. There's a strike. It's 0-1, and, and we'll uh, throw to first, keep him honest. Close to getting him. Didn't quite happen. There's a curve low. 1-1. One and one. Ground ball foul. 1-2 and two now. Tell you, the runner wasn't as surprised by that as Keith Hernandez was. He was turning the wrong way. 1-2 pitch is hit over to right field, and that's a gapper. That gets to the wall, and that'll be at least a double for uh, Frank. Uh, the runner, is he going to score? No, they decide to hold him. So double makes uh, runners on at second and third here for the Reds. Bottom of the fifth inning up is Gordy Coleman. We'll keep the infield back. This is a, a ground ball through the infield anyway. That'll score a run, and it's another base hit. Here comes the throw home for the second, and uh, no Robinson scores as well. The Reds are up now 7-6. Well, you don't want to turn this one off. You never know what's going to happen here. Here now is uh, Keogh, and uh, Marty takes a strike. And another strike, 0-2. Oh there was a ball, low, 1-2. It's popped up. Popped up, and it's going to be Backman to grab this one for the out. One away. Up is a blazing game. So 7-6, uh, to two, seven to six, sorry. The Reds uh, grab the lead again. He's hit over to left field. Foster cannot get there in time, unfortunately. That's the problem with having uh, Foster out there. The defense is an issue, and uh, that'll bring up Eddie Casco. And uh, kind of wondering how, when we're going to take Foster out. He's not hitting, and he's not fielding. This is a looper into center that lands in front of Dykstra. Here comes his throw home. He's got a good arm, but uh, that is offline, and that scores another run. Eight to six, the score. 
and I think it's probably about time to make a change once again, and we are going to take Foster out of this game. Uh, Terry Leach is going to come in here to pitch. And so uh, we'll have Leach come in, and uh, they have another righty out there, so we will have Danny Heap uh, play in left field. All right, we'll get straight back to the action here. And uh, up comes Edwards hitting lefty against uh, Leach, the right-handed uh, pitcher, and takes two straight balls. It's 2-0. That's fouled away 2-1. There's a curve that misses 3-1 and one the count. And that one missed again, and so Leach comes up and walks the first batter he sees. Now is to face Wally Post. And this might not end very well for us. Post takes a ball outside, 1-0. Swing and a miss. Leach got that one in on him. That's fouled away. One and two now. Strike three. And there's strike three on the outside corner. So Leach gets the benefit of a very generous call. Two away. Here's, uh, who is this? Uh, Fada Pinson. One, one, the count on him. Up the middle, Backman goes to second himself for the force. And uh, we go to the top of the six. But the Reds get three, eight to six Cincinnati. Here's Santana. It's a ball down and in. That's hit over to the right side. Easy play there for Coleman. Flips over to the new pitcher, Bill Henry, covering at first. One away. Up is Barry Lyons now. Lyons had that home run earlier. Fouls one away, 0 and 1. And there's a strike. 0 and 2 the count. That's high, one and two. There's a swing and a miss. Down he goes, two away, and up comes Danny Heap, new left fielder. Takes the ball outside, one and oh. And that's a screwball in the corner, one and one. Hit over to left, just foul, one and two. Fouled away again, one and two. Swing and a miss, and Danny Heap looked pretty bad in that one. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Still 8-6 Cincinnati. Cardenas comes up first, and fouls one away, 0-1. Fouled away again, 0-2, and, and so let's see if Leach can put him out. Off the outside corner, 1-2. and two. It's hit over to left, and Heap's got that one easily for the out. One away. Frank Robinson now. That'll be a strike in the outside corner, 0-1. There's a ball low, 1-1. One one. Another ball, 2-1 the count. That's low, it's 3-1. And, and that misses again. Leach has a problem, you can see walking people, and uh, that'll bring up Coleman. Or I guess it's okay to walk uh, Frank. Coleman swings and misses of the first pitch. And hits this one up the middle for a base hit, and uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Robinson holds the second. Dykstra with that good arm, and uh, that will bring up uh, Marty Keough. So uh, runners on a first and second with only one out. There's a ball low again. And there's a strike, one and one. There's a pitch low, it's two and one. It's fouled away, two and two the count. Up the middle and uh, through Santana, that's a base hit. Dykstra with the throw in. And uh, they won't test his arm. So uh, Leach has gotten himself into a heck of a lot of trouble here. And we have the left-handed uh, batter up here, which means it's probably time to find somebody else to do the pitching. And uh, let's see who we have that's uh, lefty. We have Randy Neiman here on the uh, bench, and I think he's going to come in next. All hands on deck today. And comes Neiman. Let's see if we can fix this again. It should t do this automatically. There you go. And there's a strike to Blazing Game. It's a 0-1 uh, count. That misses the outside corner, 1-1. One one. Fouled away, it's 1-2. and two. Misses just low and inside, 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away again. It's popped up to center. Dykstra's got that. Is it deep enough? Makes the catch, throws home, and the throw is on target and gets Robinson. What a throw by Dykstra, and that makes this uh, still an 8-6 game going to the top of the seventh inning. So Dykstra able to get the Mets out of a jam. And here he is to lead off the inning. He has a home run already today. See if he can hit another one. There's a ball outside, 1-0 on Lenny. 
That's way inside, 2-0. Fouled away, 2-1. and one. Inside, 3-1 and one the count. And there's ball four, and so Dykstra goes down to first base. This is a key base runner to have. Up is Wally Backman. They're going to throw to first. They decide not to, and Backman hits a, a double play ball over to uh, third base. Costco fields it, throws the second for one. Uh, Backman's fast enough to beat it out, and so up is uh, Hernandez. Maybe we should have uh, tried to have Dykstra go with that first pitch. Kind of hard to know what to do. Here comes Keith. Here's a ball inside, 1-0. and And there's a strike, 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss, way behind that one, 1-2. One and two. Strike three! And down he goes. They fed him a diet of fastballs, and uh, that's kind of hard to hit that 90-something mile-an-hour fastball as late in the game. Strawberry now takes a ball inside. Two away, top of the seventh, 8-6 to six, Cincinnati. Foul ball by Darrell. It's 1-1. Uh, one and one. Swing and a miss is way behind that one, 1-2. One and, and that's low, 2-2. Two and two. That's hit deep to right. That's what happens when you throw fastballs to Strawberry, and that baby is gone. Strawberry hits a two-run home run. We have a brand new ball game. Eight, 391 feet away, 8-8 eight to eight now the score. The Mets have come back for the second time in this game, and that'll bring up Ray Knight. That was a uh, slider, not a fastball. That was a slider that was down and right in uh, the wheelhouse of Strawberry, and he made short work of that one. Up now is Ray Knight. And he had, takes a ball. Knight also his homework today. And there's a strike, one and one. The ground ball over to first, and it's going to be Coleman going to the bag himself, and we will go to the uh, bottom of the seventh inning. Randy Neiman will stay in there. Here he is against Eddie Casco as it starts to rain a little bit again. It's foul ball by Casco, and one. That was home run number three in the season for Strawberry, and there's a ball, one and one. Ground ball, second base, Backman on to first, one away. Johnny Edwards now. There's the ball inside, one and one. Ground ball to Backman again, throws to first, two gone. Cookie Rojas now comes up, so we got all sorts of uh, names that are familiar to me. Takes a uh, ball inside from Neiman, one and oh. There's another ball, two and oh. That's through the hole in the right side for a base hit. So uh, Rojas comes up and gets a single. And uh, that will bring up uh, Vada Pinzon again. He's uh, one for four today. Did score a run. And he takes a slider low. And that's outside, 2-0. and oh. That's low again, 3-0. and oh. And once again, it's low. And I tell you, uh, Randy is uh, having a rough time here. Got, he's got to face Cardenas. We don't want to take him out quite yet. Fly ball, right field line, just foul, 0-1. Oh, There's a little comebacker over to uh, Neiman, and his throw to first is not in time. Really poorly fielded by him, and that loads the bases. All right, Brandy, get one out. Fouled up and away by, uh, who is this, Robinson? 0-1. Oh, and, and there's a strike, it's 0-2. Oh, this is popped up. Strawberry has that for the out, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. So Randy Newman doesn't exactly do an excellent job, but um, it gets the job done, and it's time to make a change. We're going to have uh, Kevin Mitchell come into this game. This might be a time to have Mitchell actually play short. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Up comes uh, Mitchell against Dave Sisler, the new, uh, bat uh, new pitcher here for Cincinnati. Mitchell takes the ball. There's a strike, one and one. Ground ball first base, and that is booted. That's an error by Coleman as he fumbled that one, and Mitchell is on safe. First error of this ball game, and that'll bring up Santana. Rafael fouls one away, 0-1. That's hit over to right field, just foul, 0-2. Ground ball over to second. They go to uh, they go to um, uh, Cardenas for, I'm sorry, to Blazin game for one, and then on to Coleman for the double play. So uh, we go, uh, we have two outs now here in the top of the eighth. And uh, here is uh, Barry Lyons, who fouls the first pitch off, 0 and 1. That's low and outside, it's 1 and 1. Foul ball left side, 1 and 2. Fouled away. That's inside, 2 and 2. There's ball three, fork ball misses. 
It's hit over to right field. That's going to go foul, I think. Barely. Swing and a miss there by Lyons, and down he goes. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Mitchell will go to short. I think we're going to bring in McDowell now. Yeah, Roger McDowell will come in to pitch. 8-8 eight, eight ball game, bottom of the eighth inning. It's a little bit early for him. There is a strike to pull him out. That ball, 1-1. One one. Ground ball, second base, and Backman throws to first. One away. Up is Marty Keel. Two for three today, having a good game. He's going to be three for four as that lands in front of Dykes for four base hit. Single to with a one away, and here comes Don Blasen game. That's hit number 15 for the Reds. Tied 8-8. Eight, eight. The Mets only have eight hits. There's a ball outside, 1-0. Oh. Popped up left field, and uh, Heap can't get there in time. That's another base hit. That puts runners on at first and second. 16 hits now for the Reds, and uh, this will bring up another pinch hitter. It's Jerry Lynch. There's a ball inside, 1-0. And, oh. and the ball low, 2-0. Oh. Another ball, it's 3-0. Oh. There's a strike by McDowell. A ground ball over to Backman at second goes to uh, uh, Santana for one, but there's no uh, relay throw, and that'll bring up uh, Edwards. Another left-handed hitter, and he takes the ball inside. Retrospect, I probably put have put uh, Roscoe in, and this is going to hit the sign. That's a base hit, at least a double. Dykstra goes back and grabs this one, and this is going to score a whole bunch, and uh, Edwards has a triple. And uh, so there's two runs to score. It's now a 10-8 ball game, and I think that we've probably seen enough of uh, Roger McDowell here. We'll try now for a Roscoe, see if we can uh, correct our mistake. Uh, so 10 to 8 now the score. This game uh, dragging on a little bit, and here comes uh, Joe Gaines, another pinch hitter. Takes a ball high, 1 and 0. Fouls one away, 1 and 1. There's a ball, 2 and 1 the count. Ground ball foul, 2 and 2. Ground ball over to second. Uh, Backman throws to first, and uh, we go to the top of the ninth inning. Danny Heap to lead this one off. Mets just about out of chances. Mo Drabowski is the pitcher for the Reds, and he throws a ball. There's a fastball for a strike, one and one. Two innings pitch for Drabowski, uh, no uh, runs given up. One strikeout, one walk. That's hit over to uh, right center field. That's going to be in the gap, and we'll roll a little while. Heap's going to have a double, and he stops the second base safely. So big uh, two-bagger for Heap, and that'll keep this game alive. Up now is Lenny Dykstra. First pitch swing, he pops this one up to left, and uh, it's going to be Keel with the catch, one away. Up now is Wally Backman, so Dykstra swings to the first pitch. Backman does the same, hits this one deep to left. It is going, going, and gone, and we've tied this game again for the third time the Mets have tied this game. It's a 10-10 ball game, and man, oh man, what a game this one is. Backman with the surprise home run, 10-10 now the score. And 396 feet is how far that one went, and that'll bring up Keith Hernandez, and Drabowski has given up two runs in spectacular fashion. And Hernandez golfs one over to right. That's foul. 0-1. That's hit over to left. That's going to fall in there, I think. He asked for a base hit for Hernandez. Gets yet another hit. Keith today is 2 for 4, up to 429, and that'll bring up uh, Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry with 10 RBIs, hit a home run earlier, takes the ball inside. That's up and in, 2-0. Oh. That's hit over right field line foul, 2-1. That's hit deep to left, go baby. Now that's a foul ball, just barely, 2-2. Two and two. Sliders inside, full count now on Strawberry. And down he goes, swinging and missing at that one for the strikeout. And uh, there's two away. Here's now Ray Knight. There's a ball outside. Knight also with a uh, home run today. That's going to be popped up to the right side out of play. One and one. Ground ball, second base, and second baseman Blazing Game has that, throws the first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. So we'll see if Orozco can hold them. Here is Vada Pinson. 
who first pitch swing hits one over to uh, right field. Strawberry runs after that one, slides, dives, and makes a beautiful catch on that. Let's go look at that one again. What a catch by Daryl, and he uh, fortunately not injured as he went crashing into the wall head first. One away. Here's Cardenas. Takes a ball loan inside. 1-0. and Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. and That's it over the left field, but uh, Heap is there for the out. Two away. Here comes Frank Robinson. There's a ball inside. It's popped up and foul. 1-1. One one. Fouled away again. 1-2. and two. Fouled away. And that's low. Full, uh, two and two, sorry. That's fouled away again. Just a second. All right, sorry about that. We're back to the game here. I'm afraid the life is about to intervene. Uh, Orozco uh, will pitch again here to uh, Robinson. And that's high. It's a full count now on Frank. Strike three. Swing and uh, miss. He struck out. Lions has to go back and grab that one, throws to first, and got him for the out. We go to the top of the 10th inning now. Another extra inning game, and here is Kevin Mitchell. Takes a strike, 0-1. There's a ball, 1-1. Ground ball to short. It's uh, fielded by Cardenas, who throws to first, one away. And up comes a Roscoe, and uh, it's unfortunate, but we're going to have to take Jesse out of this game which leaves us with one pitcher left. So not exactly the best bullpen management in the world by me. And um, I think we're going to put the kid in there to a pinch hit. So Carter's going to come into this ball game as a pinch hitter. And takes the ball high, 1-0. and There's a strike, 1-1. and That's ball 2, 2-1 two and one the count. That's hit deep to right, going, going in Robinson's glove for the out. Two away, here is Barry Lyons. Barry did homer earlier today, and that's hit deep to left field, but I think he got under that one a little too much. No, that one is gone, and Lyons hits a second home run of the ball game, 400 feet from home plate. That was a real uh, moonshot, I tell you. That one just kept soaring, 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 and on it went. We have one, two, three, four, five, six home runs in this game. Here's Danny Heap. 11 to 10 Mets, and there's a uh, strike, 0 oh, and 1. That's fouled away. It's 0 oh, and 2 now in Heap. That's hit deep to center field. That has a chance. And that is gone. Heap back to back home runs, and it's 12 to 10 now Mets. And uh, this will bring up Lenny Dykstra. He hits this one over to uh, second base, and that's a good catch there by Blazing Game for the out. And uh, we're going to have to make a substitution. Bruce Barony is the last player we have um, on the bench, or the last pitcher, rather, in the bullpen. So he will come in as a reliever. We're going to put uh, Tim Tuffle into this game for uh, Wally Backman. And uh, we're going to put uh, Howard Johnson in as well for Ray Knight. So uh, we make almost all of our potential substitutions. Tim Kokoron is the only one who's not going to come on. We want to keep uh, Keith out there. There's a pop-up by Coleman, first pitch swinging. It's going to be the shortstop, uh, Mitchell, for the out, one away. Marty Keel now. There's a ball low to him, 1-0. And, oh. and a strike, it's 1-1. One one. There's the ball, 2-1, and, uh, two and one, sorry. Swing and a miss, the fastball got by him, 2-2. Two and, two. and that high curveball, just a little bit too high. That was a real curve. And this is hit deep to left. Forget about this one. That is gone. 12 to 11 now the scores. Marty uh, goes yard. 12 to 11, and on comes Don Blazing game. First home run for Keogh. And Barony, I tell you, you pitch like this, I'm not likely to start you. 0-1 pitch is hit over to right field. That's a base hit in front of Strawberry. And here come the Reds. Hank Foyles is going to be their new pinch hitter. I'm not sure how deep their uh, lineup is. I think they've put every single player they have out in this game. There's a ball low. And a ball inside, 2-0. and That's low again, 3-0. and And Bereni loses him, so there's ball four. Up comes Johnny Edwards. Let's try to turn one. Ball inside, 1-0. and Popped up. Does Gary have, or uh, Lions have this one? No, I don't think so. 
botches the catch, and that's an error on Barry Lyons. One and one, that's hit over to right center field. Dive by Dykstra, and he makes the catch for the out. Two away, and up comes Don Pavl uh, Pavlitich, another pinch hitter. Takes a ball. And a strike, one and one. That's low, two and one. Fouled away, two and two. Here you go. That's hit to uh, right, left center field. It's over Dykstra's head. That's going to score one. That will tie this game up. Dykstra get that home throw in quickly, and he does. It's a 12-12 ball game, and that brings up Vada Pinson. We can't do anything here. Vada hits one fouled on the right field line. We have no course of action here. And there's a ball inside, 2-0, and oh, or 1-1, and one, sorry. 1-2 one and two as he fouls another one away. Fouled away again. That's it over to right field, and Strawberry's got that for the out. And we're going to go to the top of the 11th. It'll be Tim Tuffle here to lead this one off, hitting in Backman's place. Takes the ball outside, 1-0. and Hit down the right field line, but foul, 1-1. One and one. That's inside, 2-1. and one. Fouled away again, 2-2. Two and two. That's a ball. Full count now. And that is low, so Tuffle walks to start off this inning, and up comes Hernandez. And he takes a strike, 0-1. That's inside, 1-1. One one. Fouled away, 1-2. Throw to first, but Tuffle's staying. That's it over to left field, but that's going to be foul. 1-2 pitch. High, ball two. That's inside for ball three. It's hit through the hole right side for a base hit. Here come the Mets. Tuffle going on to third base. There will be no throw. Throw goes uh, home. And here comes Strawberry. So runners on first and third. Uh, nobody out. Top the 11th. 12-12. Swing and a miss by Darrell. 0-1. Swings and misses at that one. That fastball really full of moan too. And there's a ground ball over to uh, Short. It's going to be Cardenas who throws home. And they get Tuffle easily. But uh, Hernandez moving up to second now. There's one away. Here comes Howard Johnson. And that's a wild pitch. That gets away from uh, Edwards, and the runners move up. Johnson's still up there. Takes a strike, one and one. Popped up and foul, one and two. That's inside, two and two. That misses, full count now. And that's low and away, and the bases are loaded again. Here's Kevin Mitchell, only one out. It's a ground ball to second. They throw home for one. Relay throw to first is not in time. So uh, Mitchell beats that one out. Still a 12-12 game. And here comes Bruce Spereni. The pitcher up there with two outs takes a ball. And uh, that's a strike, one and one. And there's a wild pitch. On comes Strawberry to score. And uh, runners now are on second and third. It's the second wild pitch by uh, the uh, pitcher here this inning, Sid Torres. And, uh, yeah, man. Rennie takes a strike, two and two. Strike Swing and a miss, and down he goes. We go to the bottom of the 11th, 13 to 12 Mets. Up is Leo Cardenas. Three more outs is all we need, and there's a ball low. And a strike, one and one. It's inside, two and one. Fouled away, it's two and two. Left field... Keep can't get there in time. Base hit. That'll bring up Frank Robinson, and it's uh, danger time again. Frank could win this one quickly. Ball outside. And a ball inside, 2-0. and oh. Swing and a miss. He was off balance, 2-1. and one. That's golfed over left field, and uh, Heap's not going to get there in time. Another base hit. Brenny's giving up hits like it's going out of style. Here comes Coleman. Gordy Coleman comes up here. He's, what, four for six in this game? And he goes around on that one, 0 and 1. Blowing outside, 1 and 1. Swing and a miss, 1 and 2. And that miss is high, 2 and 2. Chest checked his swing, full count. And there's ball four, and uh, this is going to be a problem. So the infield comes in. Marty Keogh is up here. Hit a home run in the 10th inning. First pitch swing, pops that one foul, 0 and 1. 
This is hit over to uh, right field. Strawberry has got that for the out, and uh, it's not deep enough to score anybody. So bases remain loaded, and uh, there's uh, one away. Here's Don Blazengame, who hits a ground ball over to second. Backman to first or to home for one, and then on to first for the double play. So Backman threw over to Lyons, who made the play at home. Back over to Hernandez at first for the double play, and the Mets win this one. I don't know how we won this game, 13 to 12, and this was the sort of game that you would expect that we were always going to lose. Uh, we uh, managed to win this game despite an awful performance by the pitchers, and despite me wanting to rip my hair out. We had what six home runs in this game. So there you have it. Mets win this one 13 to 12 in 11 innings of easily the most popular, uh, the most exciting game of this season. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.